good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of the Celebrity Jump. Hitchcock music. So I want you to imagine an unfortunate situation that your son or daughter passes away. Could be a car accident, could be a cardiac arrest, could be a shooting. And you don't live in the same place as your child lives. You live in a different state and you think that everything is okay. You live in a different state or different country. And the way that you find out that, you know, your son is passing and, you know, cause you know, he's on Instagram that you go and you type his name in or her name in. And then what you get to see is people telling your son to rest in peace, to piss. You're glad he's dead. And you figure out that, Oh shit, my son's dead. So then you're typing and you're trying to figure out like what's really going on. And then you get to confirm that the way that you find out about your child being dead is because of people trashing him online. And I want to give a shout out to viral hip hop news because they covered this with the Kevin Sam situation. Um, his mother, Kevin Samuel's mother, I won't mention her name. She made a statement according to viral hip hop news. I will play that right now. And then I will go ahead and give my response. Play that clip. His mother made a statement, and this is a very sad statement. This is what she said in finding out about her son's passing. She said that it was terrible for social media to put it out, that she didn't even know. I hadn't even been notified, she said, in a phone call on Friday. All I'm doing is requesting that people pray for us. Now, like I said, it was rumors going around that she did know. She said that she declined to release details about what happened because she learned about it on social media. And can you imagine how she heard about it on social media with all the terrible things being thrown around about her son? This is why people have to be careful about what they spew on this goddamn computer. Because although you may disagree with somebody's stance, whoever that stance may be, and you can voice your opinion on it, if God forbid something happens to him, shut the fuck up. So guys, you heard what was said there. Let me say this. I understand that people have differences of opinion. I understand that people in this generation, you know, with the culture of drill music and things like that, it is, um, you know, very permissible to disrespect the dead. I, I understand how people are today. I don't really understand why they do it, but I understand that people do it. But all oh, here's what's going to happen next. How many of you listening under sound of my voice are gonna have to go in that casket too. You see, the old folks in the church would say, you gotta meet God for yourself also. And so what I want you to think about while you're talking about people, when you die, and you will, my question is one thing, what will they say about you? Now, I know you don't think about that right now because to be honest, everybody thinks they're gonna live forever. I'm pretty sure that Kevin Samuels didn't think that he was gonna die. He thought he had a lot of life to live. We all did. We had plans to go to London. But you know what? No man knows the time or the hour when your time is up. So when you're disrespecting people, understand that they have family members, they have daughters, they have kids. Do you want people to say the same things about you? Of course you wouldn't. But this is what having decorum is all about. I want to um, say one thing. Despite what Kevin Samuels said or how he said it, I never heard Kevin Samuels, especially when it comes to black women. And I'll make a whole video about this. I never heard him saying that black women should be aborted or that black women should be put in jail or that black women deserve to perish. I've never heard him say that. I have heard some female YouTubers say about black boys and black men. However, I don't see black women hating, you know, those ladies. You know who I'm talking about because they're on the platform. They repeatedly talk about how black more bells need to be aborted, how they are worthless. I've never heard Kevin say that. I have heard him address the certain levels of entitlement that women expect to get when they are not what they are looking for. That's different than saying you deserve to die. In fact, Kevin Samuels never even beefed with people. Like while he was living, people talk shit about him. People are even 
talking shit about him in his death, which, you know, some YouTubers are doing, and that's fine. That's up to them. But never did he even disrespect other YouTubers or go back and forth with them or talk about them in a, you know, a bad way. I never heard him say that at all. But I am hearing people wish that on him. And I want some black men to understand that not all black women feel the same way as some of these ladies do. So I'm not asking black men to be mad at black women because, you know, we don't have the time to get into involved in that. And that's something that Kevin wouldn't want. Kevin wouldn't want black men fighting black women online because of how some of them feel. That just wouldn't be his approach. And I'm going to make a video about that. But what I can tell you is, is that for those ladies out there who are saying those things, remember, you have kids too. You have families too. And when something happens to somebody in your family, you will want them to respect your family. Well, don't you? In, in life, you pretty much get what you can give out. And Kevin just was on here speaking his opinion about what the situations were of the day. And in my honest opinion, he was right. I talked to him three weeks ago. He says the thing about the, the mainstream media, they're going to have to be forced to come and deal with the men's point of view because men are right about what's going on with the entitlement in the world. Men are right about that. We're not wrong. He wasn't wrong, which is the reason why people are so upset. If it was a lie, then no one would listen to it. But because it's the truth, people are upset. And, you know, all of these things that caused, you know, his mother to see that. And to be fair, I'm going to release this to the public. If, if I'm not mistaken, Kevin told me that he paid his mother's house off, which is something that most of your kids that you're talking about him, they won't ever be able to do for you. I'm just going to put that out there. You know, if, while y'all are mad and calling him this, if one of your kids can ever make it in life where your house can be paid off, then I'll take back my comment, which I don't think is going to happen. So you can be all upset as you want. But the fact that his mother had to find out because people were wishing death and glad that his son, her son passed, it just shows the immaturity of people because when something happens to you, if you had a heart attack, you would want someone to help you. You would want someone to be able to say, nah, man, you wish death on so-and-so. You should go ahead and pass too. Even people, when they get convicted of murder in jail, do you think they want the death penalty? No, they're begging for their own life, although they took somebody else's. So you should watch what you say in life. Don't be so immature, because remember, you got people in your life that you love. And my heart goes out to his mother or even just my mom. My mom has to sometimes come on YouTube and she texts my name and sees the things that people lie and say about me. His, his, you know, our parents, you, you know, are not involved in this business. Um, just like your parents shouldn't have to suffer because of what you decided to do. It doesn't make any sense. But guys, we're living in the era of clout. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I already appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe at the bell. Check out the first clip at the top. And as you know, the buffoon remains at all time high. I'm out.